welcome to part 12 of the order block strategy. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about some of the complexities that have been incorporated into our rule based method. Now, these, co these complexities you don't really need to think about as such, but I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of what actually goes in to the strategy. Now, the first thing that I'll need to talk about is premium and discount pricing now what is premium and discount pricing so essentially if you think about it in terms of selling a product you want to sell something at a premium but you want to buy it at a discount price okay so say for example okay if we think about it in this situation where let's go to here right okay so we created a four hour range which is from here and we created a range from from here right so that is your range now we know that price is bullish so where do you want to where do we want to buy from we want to buy we want to buy this at a discounted price how do you work that out essentially you grab your fib tool so your fibonacci and grow draw it from the top to bottom or bottom to top doesn't matter you just need a 50 percent discount pricing is sitting at the 50 percent below so discount for a buy okay you're looking to buy from down anywhere below here okay and if you're looking for a sell you are looking to sell at premium which is above the 50 percent and that is literally it so whenever you draw a trading range okay your premium and discount pricing is sitting um above and below the 50 percent so if you want to buy you're looking to buy a discount below 50 percent if you're looking to sell you're looking to sell at premium above the 50 percent you don't need to overly worry about it because it's already been factored in so the reason why we say look for the extremes is because most likely you are going to be looking at either the discount or premium pricing to take your trade so that's why we don't you don't need to overly think about it However, the main uh, complexity that has been drawn into our rule-based method is Wyckoff or Wyckoff, however you should say it. Now, in terms of smart money, this comes up quite a lot. But if you think about it from this way, for me, this is very confusing and it's very difficult to label all this. And I feel like uh, it's, com it's made complex for no reason. But if you think about it, what do you see in this situation? OK, you can see our entry criteria. You can see that we broke the low here and then we get a break of the structure and then we can look to enter either test or the L I don't know why the LP is up there because the LPS generally reacts to an OB. So our first entry is either the first um, after the spring, which is here, and the second entry would be here. OK, that's essentially all it is. So Wyckoff has already been factored in to our entry criteria. So you're going to be using it without even knowing. So just bear and bear that in mind. And this is accumulation type two, right? It's exactly the same thing. This is without the liquidity grab, so without the spring. In this situation where the same thing for a sell, you have that liquidity grab and price breaks. So this is our entry criteria number one. And entry criteria number two is without the liquidity grab and price just breaks down. So this has all been factored in for you. So you don't need to overly worry about it. And I know that it comes up in conversation. So just bear that in mind. This complexity has already been factored in. So our rule based method is based on complex situations, but it's just been made into a rule based method. So don't feel like you need to make it any more complex than it already is. OK, don't feel like you need to overthink. Don't feel like you need to start learning about a white coffee at all because you don't need it. OK. This, whatever's happening here, is all structure. And that's the only thing that we are trading. We are trading the shift in market structure. And that is all, that's all it is. So don't worry yourself too much about that. So that's the only complexities, the only two complexities that I didn't teach, but we don't need to worry about because it's already been factored in. But it's something that you may want to know, um, you know, should it come up in conversation and you want to, you know as long as that you you know you just want to be aware of actually what's actually going on and what you're trading but it's already been factored into the rule-based method so you don't need to worry about it